Holy nostalgia trip, Batman. Our first ever look at Warley Synergies here is nearly five years old, so with the introduction of a new Woody, I figured we could revisit it to see just how said synergy has changed. And to my surprise, the differences are incredibly noteworthy, even if the ideas are somehow exactly the same. As all we're doing is taking a few of Warley's exclusive recipes and shoving them in the faces of a moose and a beaver just to turn them up to 11. But now, they very well could be tuned to 12. Let's discuss. After we get the obvious and already showcase nonsense out of the way, because if I didn't put it in the video, people would question it. But yes, so Woody's fresh Wermoose plus Warley's Vault Goat Jaw Freud equals a potential 449 damage per smash against a wet lunar based mob or two, and a whopping 816 damage against wet trees, just as long as the stars align. Be sure to pick the right skills and to spice things up if you really, really want to see what you're seeing here. But how? Well, here's a refresher course, I guess. Craft and plant Warley's portable grinding mill and seasoning stations, only to go and grind up the proper foods and minerals to create spices that can be used to season crockpot foods at the latter station. And yup, it's just that simple. Honey crystals will increase work efficiency, chili flakes are damages, and garlic are defenses. So make notes. And with all that out of the way, the former is actually where my focus lies today. The work efficiency of Woody's classic wear beaver, both with their skills active and otherwise. And oddly enough, while we will see a distinct difference present, wood chopping is actually the least affected mechanic throughout all this. Now here's a normal beaver with no skills of spices whatsoever, felling trees with four chops, so nothing too special there, as we've been used to this for years. But add the other variables now, and a beaver with skills will fell every tree in three munches, while a beaver with skills plus the honey crystals ingested will do it in two. It's truly a unique buff, but I really do think the power actually comes across far more once we chip our teeth on boulders. For you see, this is how a normal beaver has always performed against such things, and it's rather embarrassing, honestly. But activate the proper skills nowadays, and suddenly every boulder will explode in five chomps over the original 11, while a beaver with the proper skills plus the spices are going to demolish everything in three. Now that is mining efficiency if we've ever seen it, and yet it doesn't end there. The Were Beaver also boasts a hard mining skill that now allows for them to shatter rift stalls, dreadstone structures, and otherwise, and even this is impacted by the honey crystals. Normal beavers with just the skill active will break these in roughly 16 chews, while a spiced up one can do it in seven. So have fun. But before we wrap up the day, everyone, no. Honey crystals do not translate to the Were Beaver's new tail slap mechanic mechanic here. No matter where or what you use it on, you can expect identical results and destruction every time. But yes, let us not forget the garlic. As we are all well aware, the Wermoose is now a high damage, health regenerating tank that already has a built in 90% damage reduction, so even without any help, the guy can take a hit from Klops at only 7 damage a pop. Already pretty crazy considering we are gonna heal 1.5 points of that every few seconds at the end of the day. But munch something garlicky before tanking with all of your might, and suddenly, we will drop that 7 damage down to but 5. Now that is nothing broken, especially with how it used to be back in the original Synergy, when Clay didn't realize 1 plus 1 equaled 2 if you know what I mean. But again, we are also healing 1.5 points of that over time too, so it's actually a worthy increase, or better yet, decrease in my opinion, so enjoy it, and no. Sadly, the garlic doesn't impact the moose's planar defense, which is why we didn't get into it here. But there you have everyone, a very unexpected revisit to one of our oldest videos ever, and one that somehow strengthened a synergy that was already pretty stupid strong back in the day. As while we did focus on the work side of things for sure, we simply cannot ignore the damage potential of the moose. Heck, we showcased it so well the other week that Clay nearly nerfed the entire thing out of existence in people's minds. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.